This is about toolbars that you can add to your browser. There are a lot of third-party toolbars that you can download and add to Internet Explorer or Firefox. And most of those can be customized by you to make them work the way you want. They can improve the search function, they can let you do new things, and they can make it easy to places that you go to on the Internet often. To learn about toolbars, search toolbar in Wikipedia. And when you do that, you will find a list of some of those third-party toolbars. And if you click on each one of these in Wikipedia, it'll tell you a little bit about it, like the Alexa toolbar. Alexa is mostly a system that measures website statistics. If you put the Alexa toolbar on your website or on your browser, then when you go to any website, it will tell you what Alexa thinks is the popularity of that website. And that's how Alexa promotes the use of its toolbar. There are lots of others. I am going to talk mostly today about the ones I use, which are Yahoo and Google. But there are others. For example, the MSN toolbar has a feature where you install that and set up one particular uh, capability. Every time MSNBC News has breaking news, you'll get a flashing uh, indicator on your MSN toolbar. And you can go directly to NBC News and listen to the breaking news. That's not what I'm using. So what am I using? A normal Internet Explorer uh, browser looks like this at the top. It has your drop-down menus, a file, <coughs> edit, view, favorites, tools, and help, and the place where you can type in uh, a place on the Internet or where that place on the Internet comes up if you click on that place from somewhere else. One of the drop-down menu boxes is View, and under Toolbars it lists the toolbars that you currently have on your browser. I have Yahoo and Google and an AOL toolbar, but I only have the address bar checked right now, and I don't even have the standard buttons checked right now. If I check that, then you get the standard buttons for Internet Explorer with your favorites and your search and your history and whatever else you have put in here. So that's what a standard Internet Explorer heading looks like. What does mine look like? It has the standard drop-down menu, the standard Internet Explorer buttons, the address bar, and then after that it has a whole bunch of links, which I get to by clicking this uh, menu button, and you can see all the links that I have saved, in addition to my favorites, to get to places that I go to often, quickly. The next line is the Google Toolbar. That's the one that I find most useful. You can go directly to places like Google Earth. You can add buttons to this toolbar. It has a place that shows Google's measure of the importance of the page you're looking at with this uh, bar that shows how much of that is filled up. This particular page of The Motley Fool that I have, have as my home page is uh, rank 3 of 10. It has a place to control pop-ups. It has a spell check. I will show you some interesting things you can do with this Google toolbar, but first, 
How do you get it up there? Well, there are lots of ways. You can type www.google.com into your browser and you'll get Google here. When you get to the Google page, you can click More and look at all those things and then click Even More and you will find even more things and among them is a link that says add a search box to your browser and when you click that it will talk about installing Google Toolbar and if you click here and proceed that's how you get it up there or you can type install Google Toolbar when you get to the Google home page and when you do a Google search you will get the Google Toolbar. You'll probably get one that says install it now. If you click here it shows that it's already installed on my computer but here is some more information about it. And once again, a link to install the Google Toolbar 5 beta. But also, a video. Hi, I'm Uffy. And I'm Asim, your product managers for the Google Toolbar. We've been working on the latest version, and now it's ready for you to try out. We receive feedback from our users and have quite a few cool features to show you. Sure, we still have search, news, pop up blocker, page rank bookmarks, spell check, translate. Now you can add your favorite gadgets right to the toolbar, like the YouTube gadget that lets you see featured videos, or a weather gadget to quickly check the local temperature. Just click on the custom button icon to visit the gallery. When you're online, filling out your address and phone number over and over again can be really annoying. But with autofill, you can fill out a form in a single click and even keep multiple profiles. Plus, you can now save your toolbar settings online. You can sign in from any computer and take your bookmarks, custom buttons, and other information with you. And don't forget about Notebook, which lets you collect text and images as you browse the web. So where can you find Google Toolbar? At the top of your browser, or download it at toolbar.google.com t5. And of course, if you want to install the Yahoo Toolbar instead of Google Toolbar, or in addition to, as I have, you can type in install Yahoo Toolbar on your either your Google home page or your Google tool, Toolbar that you've already installed and when you do that you will get a place to go and download the Yahoo Toolbar. So let's say you've done one or both now how do you use them? Of course, how you use a toolbar on your computer depends a lot on how you use your computer. So let me give one or more examples of what I do and maybe that will give you some ideas of what you might do. I spend quite a bit of my time on a discussion board called city data on the Hawaii board. It's a standard moderated discussion board where people who are thinking about moving to Hawaii or who uh, are going to take a vacation in Hawaii or military people who have just received orders to Hawaii can come and ask questions and hopefully they'll get helpful answers. There are all sorts of questions. Uh, moving to Hawaii on a shoestring budget. That's a, that's a pretty common one. The usual advice is don't. <laughs> Bring money. Uh, here's one. Planning a trip this summer to Hawaii. Need help. And for you help, helpful people uh, from San Diego, there is a very similar forum about San Diego. And you get the same kind of questions. 
Uh, considering relocating to San Diego, what can I expect? So, what does this have to do with toolbars? Well, one day I was browsing the City Data Forum and I saw someone, it was a, 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 an army wife, and she posted a message that said, my husband has just received orders to Schofield Barracks, and I hear that's near the, near the town of Wahiawa. Does anybody know anything about Wahiawa? And oh, by the way, I am terrified of heights, and I've been told that this is the, in the mountainous section of Hawaii, and I'm afraid I'm not going to be able to stand it there. What can I do? Help! I'm going to use this as an example of a way to use the Google toolbar to learn a lot about a place. If you put Wahiwa in the Google toolbar, you will get all sorts of information. So one of the things I did was to copy this link which is in Wikipedia, which has lots of general interesting information about Wahiawa. But then, after I'd done that, I knew that there were other ways to learn about Wahiawa. One of them, for example, was images. So I simply clicked this little down arrow and changed the Google search from leaving the same word in there from on the web to images. And I click go. And I came up with all sorts of pictures of Wahiawa. And eventually I found one, because there are 10 pages of pictures of Wahiawa. I found one that showed the typical topography around Wahiawa, which is quite flat. It's on a plateau up in the middle of Oahu. And I was able to send the lady that photograph. Here's the one I found. And there's the picture that I sent her. Pretty flat, huh? But look at the other things that you could use to learn about Wahiwa. You go down below images and there's groups. You go to groups on Wahiwa and you will find that there are discussion groups on all subjects. like here. A discussion of what the name of Wahiwa town means. Of course, there was also a discussion group where some people were talking about the fact that uh, dozens of military police and Honolulu police officers started Friday morning in a massive search for an explosive device that was lost in the Wahiawa area Thursday. I didn't send that to the lady. Here's another area which I didn't send, although it can be very revealing about a lot of places. Just down below uh, groups, there is news. And if you click on that, you will see that there was a hit and run. You will see that there were three men accused in a beating. You will see that uh, there was a brawl in Wakiwa where a man was critically injured and a fight in Wakiwa leaves one man in critical condition, probably the same man. Uh, somebody was missing who is epileptic and needs medication, all sorts of other things uh, proving the fact that no news is good news in a lot of places. 
Moving on down, you can go to Frugal, which is where things about Wahiawa are sold. And you will see that you can buy quilts, sweatshirts, mugs, all sorts of things about Wahiawa. Probably mo more interesting is to move on down to Google Maps. where you can get a much more detailed description of the place you're interested in. Showing, for example, the relationship to, Sh to Schofield Barracks. And finally, for our journey to and through Wahiawa, you can go to Google Earth, which is a truly remarkable description of any place. And this control right over here allows you to do something very special with Google Earth. After you zoom in as far as you can zoom, Google Earth tilts the perspective so that you can look at the topography as, as something close to what you would see if you were standing there looking horizontally. And as you turn this around in various directions and look at different parts of the surroundings, you can see mountains in the distance, for example. And swinging in the other distance, excuse me, in the other direction, looking out toward the west, you can really get an appreciation of the mountains that are to the west of Wahiawa. Now of course if you live in an area that has uh, exaggerated topography like in a ravine as I do uh, maybe it's even more interesting for you to go to the address of the place where you live put that into Google Earth and see what it shows you when you get there. Here we are uh, just off Route 8 and Fairmont and if I tilt that neighborhood right in front of my house and then back off a little bit and push it over a little bit so that I'm looking at the area from behind a the hill up above in Kensington and then I swing that around and look at it from the east and once again push it away so that uh, I'm looking at that topography. That is very interesting. And you can, of course, slide it around and go out and look at it from uh, out in Mission Valley over Route 8. I think that's fascinating. We're supposed to be talking about toolbars here, not just Google Earth. So let's go back to the Google toolbar and look at what else is on it. Well, 
There's the place that you can click for the news items. Some of these are just the same thing you see over here when you change the drop-down menu to or from the original Google search the web place. This is for news. This is frugal products for sale. This is its own spot for Google Earth. Uh, this lets you search your own computer for things like Wahiwa. And this lets you add buttons to your toolbar out here. Like I put once out here, I put things, find the occurrence of the word Wahiwa in the text. Um, coming back to uh, the toolbar, here's where you add buttons, as I said. Here is where you either have bookmarks or can add bookmarks. Here is the page rank that I talked to you about. Here is a place where you can control pop-ups. Right now, there are a lot of them blocked. If I click this once, it allows pop-ups for this particular page. Here is a place where I can do a spell check, etc., etc., etc. This is for automatically filling in a form. There are lots of individual uh, capabilities on the Google toolbar which you can play with and find out whether or not they are useful to you. Dropping down to the Yahoo toolbar. Well, the Yahoo toolbar has a lot of the same capabilities that Google does. It has ways to set the places that it searches. You can search the web for Wahiwa, or you can change and search images for Wahiwa. And if you do that, you will find also a lot of great pictures of Wahiwa. And interestingly enough, if you look on page three, you will find a photograph that looks quite similar to the one that I found for the lady who was worried about the great heights of Wahiwa. I think it's the same picture, but it doesn't come from the same place. I kind of believe that this was a Japanese tourist that came to Hawaii and uh, found the same picture that I used. And there are more ways to search on the Yahoo, in the Yahoo search box, such as uh, search for audio. And when we do that, we find uh, songs named Wahiwa that you can download for a price. And now and then, you find something that says, play a sample. So there are all sorts of ways that you can use uh, the Yahoo search capability depending upon what you're looking for. Uh, there's address books, there's jobs, there's news, there's more. Uh, Yahoo is apparently very closely associated with Flickr, so you can search the Flickr website for for photographs that people have posted about uh, Wahiwa and since there is a botanical garden in the town of Wahiawa, that's probably a pretty fruitful place. And there are other places on the Yahoo toolbar where you can do other things. There's a pop-up blocker. You can get the get to Yahoo Mail with one click. And you can put new buttons on your Yahoo toolbar 
it this happens to be a place that I use every day I have put the things that I go to the places that I go to each morning when the market is open up here on my Yahoo toolbar and I've done that by going to settings and clicking add or edit buttons and then clicking make a button or edit buttons that I've already put up to put things on the toolbar that I want to get at each day. To demonstrate that let's say that I want to put the Seniors Computer Group website on my Yahoo toolbar and I want to put it over here between this uh, this site which is Decision Moose and uh, this site which is Paul Merriman's Fund Advice. That's where I want it. How do I get it there? Well, first I have to find it and open it. If I already have it, of course I could go to Google and put in Seniors Computer Group, but if I already have it somewhere on one of my favorites, I uh, I can go to Seniors Computer Group, find the website, find the link to the website, click it, and up comes the Senior Computer Group website. Now I need to copy that URL. So I'm going to highlight it and type control and C which puts that URL on my clipboard. Now I'm going to go to settings on the Yahoo site and click add or ed edit add slash edit buttons and then I will click make a button and it will ask me for the URL so I will put the cursor there and type control plus V which pastes that URL in the web address I will put in my idea of the title and you want something small so the box is pretty small and I'll type SCG and then I can pick the icon that it picked for me or I can look through here uh, let's give it a star click star and I'll click save now SCG is here but it will be at the the very beginning of this list just before pop-up blocker. I said I wanted it over here so I need to highlight it. It's already highlighted and I click the down arrow a number of times until I get it down just after the moose signal. There it is. It's after the moose signal and before fund advice and I click save changes and finish. And I'm done. And now you see that SCG is here between the moose signal and fund advice. Whatever was over here has dropped off to the right so to get at it I have to click the more button which gives me the list of the rest of the things that I have put up here but have been kicked off into the uh, into the dust. So to review we have demonstrated that there are third-party toolbars that you can add to your browser. You can customize them. They can improve the search function by searching in a lot of different ways and they can make it easy to get to places that you visit all the time and want to get to quickly. You can install a Google toolbar on Internet Explorer 6 Plus, Firefox, and on a Linux platform. And you can do the same thing with a Yahoo toolbar according to the reading that I have done 
using my Google toolbar to search for things like installing a Yahoo Go toolbar on Firefox. I hope you found this interesting. As usual, I've learned a lot in the process of preparing this information.